one of the main goals with uh, our, our kind of our initial kickoff with oyster restoration, big picture goal, we, we'd like to restore oysters in the Manatee River to historically documented levels. And that's a big goal, it's 132 acres. Um, right now we have permitted 10 acres, there's a 6.2 acre site um, we worked with the county on right next to us. Um, and we're getting all sorts of other partners involved all the way from the you know, local level from here at Colony Cove, our, our neighbors on this site, um, all the way up to the state and federal agencies that are, you know, they, they see the need for this and uh, we're all getting involved in, in doing this. Oyster rag pots, um, they're really the answer to a, a, a tough question as to how do we get more oyster restoration done in a cost effective manner. So what we really needed to do was we needed something that was cheaper than rocks. You can cover the bottom with rocks, but even doing that, I mean, it's, it's very expensive when you start talking about acres like that. So with oyster rag pots, um, the idea is that, you know, we create something with re readily available and affordable materials. We put them all together and they, they basically form the, the skeleton or the structure for oysters to grow on and then they'll coalesce and create the 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 um the oyster reef itself um they're called ecosystem engineers because that's what they do in natural systems they kind of grow on top of each other so individual oysters all together create that reef we're just putting that skeleton in there to jumpstart that process and restore these reefs back to levels that people haven't seen in generations i started oyster river ecology to get more large-scale ecological restoration projects done kind of in, in the area I've grown up in, which is um, Manatee County, but also like Sarasota, Hillsborough, Pinellas. Um, I wanted to get more projects done, but also do them in a way that you could involve as many people as possible, because there's such an appetite out there for people to kind of involve themselves and be part of the solution to improving our environmental quality. Um, I am blessed with like the, you know, a history of doing these kinds of projects and the know-how. So to me, it's like, it's filling this niche to, to get big things done, but also engage, you know, hundreds of thousands of people that want to get out and help do this kind of work. Uh, oyster type thing and uh, when she called and said do you want to do it I said oh yeah count me in right Nance that's right I saw it on a flyer that we had in one of the offices and uh, that was right up my alley too because I lived in New York and we we helped with the restoration on the Hudson River a few times so it's just a fun thing to do and a wonderful thing to do for the future, obviously, for all of you. I'm a great grandma and a grandmother, and um, I want to leave things a little better for everybody and for them. So yeah, it's the way to go. And being a science teacher, I was always into the environment, and I always did things. Uh, I organized recycling programs in my elementary school and things like that. And so this, we have to do it. So if there's one takeaway message that I would leave people with that you know, would come out and experience an event like this is that you know anybody can do restoration. Learn about it, learn the ins and outs of it. Um, it's, it's a fancy word for problem solving. Our problem is we have environmental degradation. Things like this are ways to solve that. So be creative, get involved, and get after it. I mean, it's like, you know, hands on, let's do some stuff. So. I think this is wonderful, what you guys are doing. <laughs>